I'm sure you remember my next guest. Katie Smith was diagnosed with a brain tumour four years ago, having just returned from her honeymoon. She went on to become a children's author and she won our Top Tales writing competition. Can't believe it was 2016. It feels like it last week. Since then, she's become a mum for the first time while continuing to raise awareness about brain tumours. And she joins me now and it is great to see you. It's great to it, I can't believe all that time's gone past. It, it's, it just seems like yesterday, years. doesn't it? It's it, amazing. It absolutely does. For me, it was such a, a significant moment in our lives. It was amazing. Um, you totally yeah. deserved to win. It was a cracking story. Well, I hope so. It did, did cross my mind that people may have... Um, voted for the story because of our situation. Because you were ill? Yeah. No! That, I... that was actually one of the first things I asked the publishers wow. um, when, when we had our yeah. initial meeting, have I won this competition because I'm, I'm poorly? Um, and they didn't seem to know anything about it, which was a huge relief. That's good. Because yeah. so on merit. You won it on merit. Yeah, absolutely. You won I would it on never merit. ever you want did. anybody to pity You're me. You're a woman on a mission. You're a woman Indeed, on a mission. Yeah. Tell me about Brainstorm. Um, so, at the beginning of 2019, my husband and I decided to set up a fundraising group for um, the charity Brain Tumor Research. So, we're not our actual, an actual charity, we're just fundraising You're on helping. behalf of them. Yeah, it, indeed, absolutely. yeah. We, um, we set ourselves quite an ambitious target of £90,000, right. which is um, enough to pay for one of Brain Tumor Research's dedicated research labs at one of their centres. Brilliant. Um, we're probably, at the moment, about £25,000. So you're getting there? Yeah. You are getting there. Um, but we're still a way off our target. And, but you're so determined you'll get there. Indeed, you're yeah. Well. I think it's, it's so important. I mm. don't think um, brain tumours, albeit recently they have had more press sure. and publicity, um, I don't think they're talked about in... I think you're in right. The amounts that, that other cancers. Yeah, I understand that sort of Cinderella type thing, isn't it? Indeed. It's a bit like yeah, that. Yeah, they are often described. Yeah, no, as I can a I can get that. Cancer. I really do. Yeah. How are you? You're living with a brain tumour. Yes. But how are you doing? Yeah. So um, I have a scan on Monday right. coming up. The last scan was stable, um, and we can never truly say that it, it's going to go away for good. Mm. Um, so I had um, six and a half weeks of radiotherapy after the second brain tumour. Right. Um, and that was in August, and then um, that was followed by eight rounds of chemotherapy. Oh, Sorry, six rounds of that's chemotherapy. Brutal. That's brutal. Yeah. That's absolutely brutal. It was a, a pretty intense year, I bet and, it was. and that with with raising a child as well, of course, um, was was really difficult. Luke had to take some time off work, and and we decided at that point, you know, let's have some time together as a family, mm. and let's do as much as we can to raise awareness of, sure. about this, this awful disease. There you are, there's the three of you. He's absolutely gorgeous, beautiful wee boy. Do you know, have they told you, have they said to you, you've got a certain amount of time, or is it just something that you, <clears throat> I mean, clearly you, you live with? Yeah, it's, um, it's really difficult to say that, I mean, there's over 130 types of, of brain tumours and, mm. and they've all got sort of a, a different genetic mutation. And they are sort of getting to grips now with what, those mutations mean and how long a person has left to live with those. Sure. But it's, it's all very complex. So when I had the initial diagnosis when I was 30, um, I was told by uh, my oncologist that um, I had a 50-50 chance of reaching the age of 40. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that doesn't mean if you get to 40, everything will be fine. It's, mm. You'll be very, very lucky to get to 40. And if you get there, the chances of it coming back are, sure. are, are very, very high. So... Um, that was really difficult to take mm -hmm. in. Um, you know, I have been living with it for four years now. I've had the two surgeries. They are making improvements, but unfortunately those improvements with treatments are, are, are not significant enough. Um, so we, do, we just don't know. And we live at the moment every three months at a time. Right. So, so it's like we get a clear scan or a stable scan. Sure. Um, and then we go on holiday or we do something yeah. and then it comes back to scan time and results. Mm. Um, and we get what's called um, in the brain tumour community is scanxiety. Well, actually, scanxiety. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, get that I think um, probably anyone, any oh, person absolutely. suffering with any form of cancer gets that kind See, of anxiety See, the thing is, looking at day. you, look at you. You look fantastic. Thank you. Your hair's beautiful. I, I, I was told that you had lost your hair. But, yeah. I mean, that's fantastic. Yeah. Is that, is that a wig? It was, it's what, what we call a hair system. It's so it looks some really amazing real. people at a company in Birmingham, Optima, 
Um, wow. Sorry, I'm probably not allowed. Oh, you've seen there it. Are, okay. There are other No, 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 it's, it's totally fine. They're doing an amazing um, job. Pete Murtha and Jade, um, a company in Birmingham, gave me this wonderful hair system. It's one, yeah. It really is good. Yeah, it's great. Because, um, you know, lots and lots of women and men, I've talked yeah. to you that have had cancer, but more women, obviously, that's when it really hits you. When yes. you lose your hair and you look in the mirror yeah, well, and you're a different person. Absolutely. So it's I think a big, big deal. It's it a big it deal. is, especially for a woman, I think. Mm. Um, so the radiotherapy was the thing that mm. caused me to lose the hair. And I, I could have probably coped with it more had I known that it was just from chemotherapy and it, it would come back. Right. Um, but then they, they said, you know, you're going to have this bald patch for, for the rest of your life. And I knew that my life would be shortened at that time. To, mm. So to have to live that life and know that it, if it had completely cured it, I, I, I'm not that vain. I, I <laughs> right, could have lived sure. with a bald head for the rest of my life. But to be told that it's not actually going to go away, this is only going to extend mm. your life for a number of years, and then I have to live those years without feeling I, like me. I without, totally understand that, what you're saying. It really actually knocked my confidence severely. And this um, is... You'd never know in yeah. a million years. It's absolutely, you you they, would never know fantastic. that you're not well. And I think what you're doing is incredible. Thank like you. I said, a woman, a woman on a mission. Yeah. You're doing this big auction of celebrity hats, which I love. Now, this obviously is a hat that I wear out a lot. Um, I'll just fix that. <laughs> we did. So we thought we'd, we thought we'd sort of... Like, I know you've got a collection already, but I'd here's, like to see you out hat. in that I've hat. sent that wee hat. That's amazing. Um, it's, uh, it's been out. It's been out clubbing. But I shall give it to you. Excellent. Thank <laughs> you so much. And I know you're looking... So any celebs watching this morning... And you're wearing a hat or, or you've got a hat in your cupboard, get it out, sign it and send it to me and I'll obviously pass it on to Katie. That would be amazing. Because it's a great idea. Yeah, well, we have um, a genuine uh, Peaky Blinders hat. A Peaky Blinders hat? Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, so we're going to be talking about that with Ross in a minute. Um, Killian Murphy donated that to us. God um, bless him. He was filming in the area that we live. And, That's great. Uh, we very cheekily wrote a letter <laughs> and said, can we have... Well, we, we didn't even ask him for a Peaky Blinders hat. We asked for a hat yeah. that was signed by him. And, and then the next one. thing we know, we got a message on Twitter saying... What a gent. Yeah. We like he's him. He's a re really kind man. Oh, it's great. We've got some great ones, actually, and that, that's all going to happen. Philip Serrell from BBC Bargain sure. is doing the auction. Um, and it's just sort of a culmination, oh, great, celebration of our efforts this year. We wish you um, all the best yeah. with everything that you've done and everything that you're going through. And like Thank I say, you. you are living with this and you're yeah. living life to the full. Yeah. Can I just you. say, brain tumours kill, not many people realise, I'm sure you do, Lorraine, brain tumours kill more children and adults under the age of 40 than any other cancer. And yet mm. the funding that they get is just so insignificant. We, we really want to raise awareness of, of that fact. Well, um, and, and hopefully put that charity into sure. people's minds if they're thinking about making regular donations.